Stunning leather trousers, timeless ways to wear for 2022. Whether you prefer your leather trousers skinny, straight, cropped or loose, there's one thing for sure. Having a pair will work wonders on your capsule wardrobe. So today I'll be sharing a whole selection of my favorite ways to wear this one pair. Looks that give a nod to the fashion trends while still retaining that timeless quality. Gone are the days when leather pants were reserved for buckle clad bikers. Modern day leathers got an upgrade and a heavy dose of polish. The result of which gives you a whole host of really timeless ways to wear them, starting with this really elegant look I'm sharing first. Here I wanted to balance out that wider leg and give my shoulders a little bit of oomph, that very technical term. But the result of those big puff sleeves gives my body more of an hourglass shape, which I really like. This blouse is actually a few years old, but it's definitely one that I will never throw away. On day one, it looked like a very pretty heirloom piece, and I don't think that allure will ever fade from it. The waist on this particular pair of leather trousers fits really well, nipping in neatly and accentuating the curves of my hips in what I think is a really flattering fashion. I've tried leather trousers many times before, and sometimes where they were so bad, I wouldn't even come out of the changing room. So to actually find a pair that feel really nice to wear, along with looking it, has been a bit of a revelation for me. For day, I'd throw on a blazer to complete this look and at night, a pair of classic pumps for a bit of timeless chic. A chunky belt would also look really great with this outfit and really define your waist at the same time. But for the life of me, I cannot find mine anywhere. It's got lost in the mass of Christmas, so you'll have to make do with my skinny belt instead. I think it's fair to say you can pick up a pair of faux leather trousers for about £50. But no matter what you pay for your pair, they do have that magic of making most of your outfits look more expensive and polished. Perhaps it's because they bring a slight sheen to an outfit, or maybe we just hold ourselves differently when we're wearing them. Whatever the reason, they really do elevate an outfit. And I think if you purchase your pair carefully, you'll find that you'll capture that essence without even really needing to try. Styling leather trousers shouldn't feel complicated. The more natural, the better in my book. And hopefully I'm proving that point here with a really simple but effective look. Who'd have thought that a simple cardi and leather trousers could look and feel so refined? But it's the little things that can make a big difference. I consciously chose this cardigan over my others as I really wanted that sumptuous texture. The fluffiness of the mohair makes me think of log fires and lazy days, and I love the contrast of that against the polish of the leather. It's also quite a slouchy fit, which just adds a bit of understated sexiness to the look. Let it fall off your shoulder a little bit and just tuck it flippantly into your waist. So remember to think about textures that contrast well with leather. It's a really easy way to polish even the most simplest of outfits. There are many reasons why I'd count leather trousers as one of the key essentials for my wardrobe, but versatility is definitely high up on the list. This weekend ready outfit, for example, feels a real contrast to the last outfit idea, despite the fact that both of them are utilizing knitwear that I have in my wardrobe. And that's the joy of styling leather trousers, really, just a switch up of the accessories and you can end up changing the whole look. This navy jumper is new in my wardrobe and it's got a gorgeous snuggly blend of wool that's perfect for the height of winter. Combined with more chunky ankle boots and an everyday tote, the outfit feels more casual and yet the mixture of textures and an unexpected color combination that I really like gives the look more interest. If needed, I'd probably add my navy wool coat to complete this look, or perhaps go with a tonal light blue to sit against that navy. Though we're ingrained to think that leather trousers are just for evening, the versatility of them for day wear should never be underestimated. When it comes to out outlooks, or even something marginally more dressed up, leather trousers do make the job so much easier. So here I wanted to share the simplest and probably my favorite way to wear them in the evening. Now I've got two options on this outfit, depending on your heel height preference. Firstly, for those with a similar penchant for punishing your feet with a really high pair of heels. Now, traditionally speaking, heels and leather trousers could end up going a little bit too glam for me. Glam's actually probably not the right word. Bling, maybe that's what I mean. For instance, if I paired this look with a tight-fitting top tucked into those trousers, something with a bit of embellishment, for example, would just feel too much, too overdone. But that juxtaposition of the crisp cotton shirt against the edgier leather pants 
brings the look back into the realm of understated, which is definitely more my cup of tea. Now I've left the shirt out and loose first of all, and unbuttoned it enough so that you can see just a glimpse of my bra. Now we're definitely not talking full on cleavage, and I am seriously lacking in that department anyhow, just a hint of the tone of your bra is enough. Then you can easily turn this look into day wear by adding a smaller heel. I found this pair buried in storage in the attic actually, and although they say Clark's on them, I'm pretty sure I actually got them from Oxfam a few years ago. I also played with the shirt styling to make it more work appropriate, a knot at the waist to tidy up that length, with the added bonus of defining my waist a little more as well. I think both looks work, but from a styling point of view, I would say the first one is my favourite. I'm a glutton for punishment with those heels, I know, but do let me know your favourite in the comments section below. Stripes in all their forms are going to be one of the big fashion trends for 2022, which is very lucky for me as I have a wardrobe full of them. The bolder the better when it comes to this trend, or if like me you've got a fairly muted selection, think about mixing them up together for a little more impact. Here I'm styling one of my favourite bread and tops in a soft burgundy tone with my navy stripe jumper over my shoulders. Coincidentally, that's another trend all in itself actually, but we'll get onto that another time. I've used a darker bubble to hold those sleeves together and to stop it falling off my shoulders. I really wanted to contrast that top heavy look, so I've tucked that rose stripe top in tightly at my waistband, really nipping me in, and if I could find it, I would have added my black leather belt just to accentuate it even more. Then the natural shape of those barrel leg trousers really tapers down and I've added my black western ankle boots as I wanted it practical but slimline again on my feet. If you've watched my styling videos for a while, you'll probably have gathered I'm not usually one for so many primary colours. But styled in this way with the polish of leather and my favourite stripes, I feel like it's just a brighter version of my natural personal style. The very nature of leather trousers and the tough images it kind of conjures up actually gives you a lot of leeway in the styling department. Just adding in a favourite cosy knit instantly gives you that contrast that we're often after. Black and white always makes me feel elevated and put together. And as you can see here, the added bonus of that waffle texture to the knit just gives my outfit more depth. The lighter crew shade lifts the outfit visually and the boxy shape of that knit helps the overall feel look really casual and effortless. I opted for loafers on my feet for all out comfort and being true to my personal style, I opted for my big leather tote so I can carry around everything I might need for work. And when I look at this outfit, it feels intrinsically my own personal style for daytime chic. Though I might have thought really hard about the tones, textures and shapes that I add into any kind of outfit, I never want to look like I've actually tried very hard at all. And of course that old classic mantra of less is more is something I'm particularly fond of when it comes to my own styling. A pair of leather or leather look trousers can really become a key staple for you in your own capsule wardrobe. And when you find the perfect pair, you'll notice the shape, the texture, the overall vibe that they give off can really make them work for so many different occasions. Even with a capsule wardrobe of say 25 pieces, I think you would have enough there to make so many different outfit combinations to last a really long time. So here I wanted to share a typical look I would reach for for the office or for when I needed to pop out for meetings. The issue I have with a lot of workwear is that it can have a tendency to strip you of your personality. Generic suits that don't say anything about who you are and can feel a little bit lacklustre. By utilising my leather trousers in a smarter way, I've injected a sprinkle of me into the look. Hopefully you agree I still look smart and put together, but I've managed to do that with a few key elements that make up my own personal style. This time I've opted for more of a tailored coat to give the outfit more structure. The silhouette is straighter, cleaner and more polished. The high neck of my jumper feels elegant and tucked in neatly gives me definition but in a really subtle way. The grey tones blend together while at the same time creating enough contrast to keep things interesting and I've added a tiny sprinkle of gold with my handbag to finish. I do think it takes time to feel truly comfortable in leather trousers, particularly when you're thinking about styling them for the office. But with a little practice, I'm imagining they will fast become one of your go-to looks like they have for me. 
As you'll be seeing throughout this video, there are many different ways to style leather trousers, but which ones should you buy in the first place? That I know can get really confusing, especially as they are what I would call an investment piece. You really want to make sure you get the look right so that they last as long as possible. So with that in mind, I spent a good few months researching to find the perfect pair. Indecisive, possibly, yes a bit, but a very considered purchase. So I really wanted something I could reach for more on a daily basis basis. Looser than skinnies, but not so loose that they'd look out of place and out of date in a few years' time. Longevity and timelessness was what I was really looking for, and something that I could wear in lots of different ways. Essentially, I really just wanted to get my money's worth out of them. And so, enter this pair that I've just bought myself from Cos. The funny thing is, I actually recommended this pair of trousers quite a few months ago now on my Instagram page, but as they were nearly £300, I did have to convince myself that they were the perfect pair. I had to search every single pair of leather trousers out there and then of course went back to these first ones that I saw. And goodness knows I am very glad I went for them in the end. The leather is just beautifully soft, they fit like a glove and I like the added bonus that they've used the environmentally friendly option of chrome free dyeing. I'd looked at wider leg options and looser styles but I felt that this barrel leg would be the most flattering on my shape. The way it curves into my ankle balances out the widest portion of my hips and although they're more on trend than my skinny options they don't stray too far from the timeless arena so I thought they'd be a forever piece in my wardrobe. Just creating this video and working out the many different ways I will be styling them has really proved to me that I'm gonna be getting my cost per wear out of them very, very quickly. Now, obviously you don't need this pair of leather trousers to create any of the outfit ideas that I'm sharing with you today. You might prefer faux leather trousers, for instance, and there are definitely a lot of brilliant options available. So I've created a selection of all my favorites and added them into the description box below. And there you'll find some from all different price points from the high street and beyond. Timeless, everyday chic again now, but this time bringing in one of the easiest fashion trends we've seen this winter, the half zip jumper. And if you don't already have one in your wardrobe this season, I've added a few favorites in the description box below. Now I say easy because it really is that one hit wonder and you're good to go once you've added something to your bottom half, of course. But where once I would have only styled my versions with different pairs of jeans that I've got, now pairing them with my leather trousers has literally given me hundreds of new outfit ideas. I also think the slight crop on this particular pair of leather trousers brings the look more up to date. And I like to see the skinny ankle of my boots. It helps to balance out my hips. Now this particular half zip jumper is a pretty chunky knit, but I can just about get away with styling it under one of my favorite camel coats. Very handy for when it's freezing outside. It's simple and casual, but feels really stylish at the same time. And as an added bonus, it's very easy to recreate. Blazers have never really gone out of fashion, but if there was ever a time that they were considered super on trend, it would definitely be this 2022. As per the runway, we will be seeing them worn over just about everything. Maxi dresses, minis, jumpsuits, under stripes, over slip dresses, you name it, you can wear it. So keeping a few favorites close in your wardrobe this season is a must. I love this double-breasted jacket so much that I bought it in both the black velvet and the navy wool and I've already got my cost per wear out of both of them. And I would always recommend that investing in a brilliant blazer and you'll find that you can wear it on repeat. I really love contrasting that tailoring with something even looser like this blouse. The silk slouches naturally and I tend to leave this unbuttoned enough to accentuate that without actually showing anything at all. Extra fashionista points, drape your blazer over your shoulders. And when you get bored of it falling off, just wear it as normal. Honestly, some of these trends are so silly. They look great on a model when she's standing still for a photograph, but in real life, they're just not very practical. I tend to shimmy up those sleeves on blazers to give the overall look more of a relaxed vibe. And I've added those mid heels again to finish off with a bit of polish. Side note, actually, I think this look would work equally nicely with say a knitted roll neck underneath. Certainly if you needed something warmer, I think that would work really nicely too.
Once I got thinking about blazers, I was then on a bit of a roll, so here's another option for you all. This time adding a sprinkle of print, but still fairly muted with a sheer blouse that I bought from Cezanne actually in the summer. The nature of that fabric adds a tiny element of understated sexiness, and I love the way it drapes. There's a dainty feel about these sorts of blouses, and I love that contrast against the more masculine leather and a tailored blazer. So again, it's about creating contrast, but in the most natural way possible. Never wanting to look like you've tried too hard, even if your outfit is well thought through. This blazer, like before, is a little bit oversized, but I think that works best sat against that flowing fabric underneath. And though the tones don't match perfectly, they really complement each other nicely. Bringing in my trusty ankle boots again and finishing with my new in handbag, which I absolutely love. I got this one just before Christmas and it definitely deserves a few outings or two. Definitely a forever piece for my wardrobe. A bit of a bonus look for you now that I didn't intend on, but one I really like. I found these heels in my rummage of the attic and they must be about 20 years old. They're from Jimmy Choo and I remember saving for them for ages. It took me a while. Then once in my wardrobe, I used to keep them wrapped in tissue paper in the box and only bring them out for special occasions. They didn't really get their cost per wear at the time because I was so frightened of wearing them that I'd ruin them. So anyway, now that I found them, I'm gonna try and make up for that. But I really wanted to illustrate here how this outfit I showed you before could be transformed just by switching out your shoes. Those chunky boots that I was wearing will always make your outfit feel casual, but an easy trick from day to night would be switching them out for a nice pair of heels. It doesn't seem to matter that I'm wearing a big chunky knit on my top half. I actually really like that look for winter nights. And it pretty much sums up just how versatile leather trousers really can be. Don't forget to let me know your favourite outfit ideas that I've created in today's video in the comments section below. Perhaps you're already a fan of leather trousers or maybe you've got a favourite way of styling them that I haven't featured. It's always really lovely to hear all your thoughts in the comments. Next week I'll be sharing one very exciting ultimate guide video, so make sure you join me for that. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow me on all my other social channels for your daily dose of outfit ideas and inspiration. Have a great week everyone, I will see you then.